Tech channel. Today we will be building our own generative AI app with Google Gemini and for this we will be using React with the .NET Core Web API. So let's get started. So let's understand what is Gemini. Gemini is a family of powerful and versatile large language model developed by Google uh, DeepMind and it is built upon a succession of previous Google models like uh, LAMDA and Palm 2 pushing the boundaries of AI capabilities. So this is the response from the Gemini itself and Gemini is designed to be a multi-model meaning it can process and generate various forms of data including text, images, audio and video. Now this multi-modality allows Gemini to perform variety of tasks from generating text and translating languages to understand and describing an image and writing or debugging the code and even solving complex mathematical problems. Uh, Gemini is significant advancement in AI showcasing Google's commitment to developing cutting-edge AI technologies with the potential to revolutionize how we interact with computers and access information. So this is a portal where you can go and get the API key. You have to log into your uh, Google account and as soon as you go to Google AI Studio, you can see at the left corner there is a get API uh, key. And as soon as you get click on that, you will be able to get the API key, which we'll be using in our application to generate the uh, the actually add uh, you generate the application wherein we put the prompt and we get the response. And that application will be based on the React and .NET Core Web API. Now, Gemini Developer API. This is the portal where you can see what all releases are there and how you can uh, leverage one of the uh, models. And this is the playground wherein you can experiment with all the models available. So that was pretty much about the introduction about Gemini. Now let's get into the demo part wherein I'll be coding the application to consume the uh, Gemini API and showing that in a separate application which we develop ourselves. So let's get started. So we start with adding a, a web ASP.NET Core Web API project. This is the boilerplate template code for the ASP.NET Core Web API. We'll remove the unnecessary uh, code which we do not need. We'll rename the uh, API controller as uh, uh, Gemini AI controller. So let us rename this one. Gemini AI controller. And uh, we will go ahead and remove this but uh, let's go ahead and add the proper code here let's remove this part we don't need this we'll add the separate folder for model so let's add model and I will go ahead and add some model now so I've gone ahead and added three models uh, one is content request the content request will be the model which will be uh, used to send the uh, text or the prompt to the Gen AI API. So this is the three parts we have, uh, part and text. Um, and then we have the content response. The content response will have the candidate and the in content and the content will have the parts and part will have the text which will be the actual response. So we will be parsing it and there are more things you can do uh, with these uh, response uh, attributes. Along with that we will have a prompt request which will be using to send the prompt to the from the AI, from the react application to the web API. Next we will go ahead and plug in the code for the Gemini AVI controller. So here is the piece of code which we will be referring as the Gemini AI controller. We will have to create a Gemini API client. The API client will in turn uh, call the generate uh, content async and pass the prompt from the API call and that API call prompt will be used to generate the call the API endpoint of the Gemini and then uh, um, get us the response. So let's go ahead and write this important API client which is all about how to connect from our code to the Gemini uh, API. So I'll go ahead and add a client folder. And I will add this um, API client. API Gemini API client. Mm -hmm. 
and this the generate content async will take the URL URL of the generative language Google APIs and Gemini 1.5 flash and it will take the API key now that will have the request content in terms of the the model which we have created that is the content parts and the model part text then it will pass it as a serialized object to the J generation request and then it will uh, have a call and get the response and do deserialize it in terms of the content response and that will be what will be sent to us as the response so that's about the now we have to do some plugging work in our program.cs so let's go there now so in our program.cs you will have to add this portion of code you have to add your key which you got it from the uh, website which was the uh, website wherein I had showed you to get the key and then uh, you have to add the codes because that is what will be required for the react uh, uh, react application to con communicate with your APIs so that's the plugging work we need in the uh, in the program.cs now let's run this application and see if the API is launching fine So our API is coming up now and we'll go ahead and put some prompt. So let's try it. So we need to also add a specific um, line here which talks about passing the Gemini API client. So our Gemini API client will have the API key and we will be having the API key passed to the Gemini API client from the middleware. Now let us go ahead and run the API. So our API is coming up fine now and let's try out the what is temperature in New Delhi. And it is saying it does not have an access to real time information although the current weather information can be obtained from the uh, apps like Google weather. Let's try another prompt. Um, what is the code for adding two numbers in Python? And let's see what response we get now. So it is giving us the uh, actual code and um, we are getting the response in terms of what we can do in Python to add two numbers. Now let's go ahead and add this feature through a, a UI rather than a swagger into the UI application with react.js so we are in now a visual studio, visual studio code prompt and we'll go ahead and create open a terminal and create a react application um, we will uh, um, the command prompt the npm command prompt to create the application and this is what we will be uh, using so let's run this we seem to have run into an issue but we'll go ahead and check the first navigate to the uh, folder so let's do that and let's cls this and then we will do is uh, we'll install certain um, npm we can run an npm install to check if everything worked fine we will go ahead and try to fix the issue with uh, installation of uh, web vitals and then we will go ahead and uh, do uh, install of the Axios. So we will install Axios. Now let's do ahead and, and run npm start. And our application seems to be working fine. So let's go ahead and add the required code. So in the uh, src folder, I'll create a new folder called component components. Go ahead and add a new file like an AI agent .js. and this will be the file which will communicate with the API. And uh, we'll plug in the code here. To start with, we will. So AI agent .js file has the React and use state from React, Axios, as well as the CS file. Uh, it has the uh, handle input change and handle submit which are defined in our uh, dev elements and it has the basic boiler code wherein it is going ahead and calling the post call 
on the API and uh, getting the passing the prompt which will be giving it to it and then generating the response and setting that into a particular area in the HTML. We also need to have the uh, the uh, the AI agent in the app.js so that it correctly points to our component and also we have plugged in the the proper CSS to make the alignment of the the UI component work properly. So now let's go ahead and run this application. So we'll run the application now. And here is our application uh, which comes up. Now let's uh, enter a prompt, um, something like explain in detail about As soon as I hit generate, it will try to fetch the API response and it will give me a full fledged response in terms of what the Gemini AI agents knows about the quantum. So this is something is what comes from the API call. So that was pretty much about uh, using Gemini to generate an API uh, application with the help of React and .NET applied to. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.